it had been a long time since there was somebody like me that was willing to fight. They, they wouldn't let me fight in the brawl for all. They wouldn't let me. There was a lot of stuff, Mark. You, you're not allowed to do that. Like, chill. Chill. <laughs> so, like, you know, people knew what I was. Right. And Brock Lesnar, he... Brock, the only person ever... I feel like I got beat in a fight. He was the MMA champion. Yeah, of course. And that's the only person. That's the only person that ever handed me my ass before. And, you know, I, I'm, he was, he was near my size and very strong. And I got a lot of respect for him. But it was, it, you would have had to be of that same cloth to get in there with me in, in a fight like situation and come out on top because I did, I, I, I didn't punch Brock. I didn't, I didn't gouge Brock. I didn't, I didn't try to suffocate him or choke him. I wrestled him straight up and he beat me. And, and that's just what it is. But not because I was scared of him. Like, that's who I was, man. And that's who I am to this day. Physically, I'm not what I used to be. And if somebody hit me now, I'm calling the police. <laughs> yeah. But back then, man, you better call the National Guard if you mess with me. I love that. But I feel like you just brought us back to the Hall of Pain just a little bit, too, with all that there. That was... It's intense and uh Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.